Look outside. I know a lot of eyes are on this forecast. Oh, yeah. The ever important a race day. A nice Eight one, day. too. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown joining us now with the forecast for tonight and also the big day. Yeah, you know, an active week before we get to race weekend. Race weekend will be perfect. But how we get there is we started the week with heat and humidity, mm -hmm. and now showers and storms, and next will be a bit cool down, and then we dry out and bring you great weather. We so, hey, whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to work for it sometimes. You yeah. can't just have perfect weather. Everyone knows you work for perfect weather, and that's what's happening for us. Right now, we feel the humidity after a morning of storms. We had showers and thunderstorms throughout the morning hours, more rain than any Thing. And if you were with us yesterday, you remember uh, we had the conversation about the possibility of severe weather today. Well, that threat has been dropped. The reason why all of that rain that you had this morning just made it almost impossible to see a stronger threat during the afternoon hours. We're actually dry right now, with the exception of one lone heavy shower sitting over the Fort Wayne area. So some rain uh, sitting off to the north. As we look south of Interstate 70, no activity at all. It's actually pretty quiet there. Rainfall totals from the next last 24 hours. You'll see South Bend up there with nearly a half an inch of rain, about a tenth of an inch for Indy, about a half an inch of rain for Evansville. So we had isolated downpours throughout the area. And as we add that up, we're nearing the end of the month here. Uh, for the month of May, we should have nearly five inches of rain. We're falling short just a little bit. Right now, we should be at about four inches, and we're only at three. So one inch short. Um, I do think we have some heavier downpours tomorrow. We'll see if we can kind of make things up. We will get very close to where we should be. A little sunshine trying to peek through. You can see that very clearly here live from our camera, you Indy here. Um, a lot of cloud cover, lots of moisture in the atmosphere. You can almost see that moisture looming and that sunshine just working very hard, harder than it should work to peek through at this point. Our temperatures, because of that sunshine, they started to surge a little bit. We're still falling short of what we expected today. We're at 76 degrees. It's not that we're done warming. There's still a possibility to add a degree or two to this forecast, but um, the bulk of the energy is now starting to move out. 78 uh, right now in South Bend, 76 in Evans. Let's talk about the chance for rain and the forecast. Tonight, I think we're pretty quiet with a chance for an isolated shower or stray storm. Nothing organized. Tomorrow, we'll start your day with dry conditions. A mix of sun and clouds to start a great start to your day. By afternoon, showers and thunderstorms will move back in. This activity brings heavy downpours of rain, gusty winds, and yes, the potential for severe weather for you tomorrow night. It's pretty late on your Thursday. And it continues into the day on Friday. So showers, thunderstorms throughout the day on Friday as well. We are tracking the threat for severe weather. That threat includes Kokomo, Indianapolis, Bloomington, and Terre Haute. Isolated strong and severe storms, but if you go south around Evansville, that threat increases over the area. The threat that I'm really concerned about, damaging wind is a severe weather threat. Lightning and heavy rain, a threat with any thunderstorm. And at this point, we could use a little rain and we'll get that on Thursday night into Friday. Tomorrow, I think we'll still have a near 80 degree day because by the time the rain moves in, the temperatures are already warmed up. The trend here is to see a cooling trend down to the 60s by Saturday. Your chat heated and cooling eight day forecast here. Here's the cool down that we are expecting. So temperatures starting tomorrow, you'll see them at around 70 80 degrees, 70s for Friday, 60s for Saturday, picture perfect at 71 for Sunday. When we come back for the first time, Carson.